How you doing, John? Um, you know, now baseball season is upon us, and uh, you know, what are your expectations for yourself and for the team? Uh, yeah. Um, first off, excited, super, super excited to, to be uh, have the opportunity to play here at UCF and the opportunity to play both sports. Um, I think this year uh, we have the ability to to have some real success um, with the players that we have. Um, with, with the pitching that we have, we've got some really good dudes in the mound. And, and hitter, hitter, hitting wise as well, we have some older guys, Tom and Ben McCabe and Roe, that can really, really swing the bat for us. We're going to rely heavy on them. Um, but I think we're, we're going to have some serious success this year. Uh, if everything goes as planned, you know, obviously nobody, you don't want anybody to get injured. Now, last year we kind of got the injury bug bite us a little bit, um, but hopefully this year that, that bug will stay away. Right sure. And as far as yourself, uh, you know, can you explain a little bit to the, maybe the viewers that don't know exactly the difference between throwing a baseball and a football? Yeah. You know, how is that, uh, you know, kind of a difference and how do you adjust? Yeah. Um, so for me, there is a little bit of a difference, right? Um, you know, uh, some guys, they, they pick up a baseball, throw a pick up a football, and there's no difference, right? For me, there's a little bit of a difference because with a baseball, my hand can wrap around a baseball. And so no matter which way I can torque my body, I can kind of put a baseball kind of, in a sense, wherever I want it, right? A uh, football, uh, and football's heavier. It's a bigger ball. And so you can't just whip your arm as fast as you can. The ball's going to fly out and do something you don't want it to do. Um, but so ultimately, football, I think, is a more technical throw in my sense. Because uh, I play quarterback, right? Footwork, huge, uh, arm angle, all that. It's, I think it's more technical. Um, baseball, as far as outfielding goes, I think it's less technical. Um, um, now, if I was a pitcher, probably be a different deal. You know, they're a lot more technical with what they do. Uh, but playing outfield, it's just hey, you get it as quick as you can, you know, as hard as you can, and then ultimately as much as And you know, being a senior, uh, obviously the leadership role is a big deal with the team. How do you look to implement that with the team, and you know, um, what kind of things? What do you, you know, advise the younger guys on the team? Yeah, I'm a big uh, believer in, in energy, right? Like, yeah, I think if you're if you're excited to be somewhere, you're happy to be doing it, I think you're going to be doing it uh, a whole lot better than somebody that's bored doing something or not enjoying what they're doing. And so I try to have a lot of energy when I come to the ballpark every day just because I think that makes you you better, personally make, make me better, and hopefully make uh, everybody else around me better as well. And so that's kind of been my big, uh, I guess, uh, Dent in the team, or our biggest, uh, I guess, attribute to bring this team is probably energy. Is there a team on the schedule that you know you're looking forward to playing? You know, or maybe like a, we got to have that game. You know, conference. Yeah, uh, obviously, conference games are huge, right? Um, oh, oh, playing Clemson as well. At Clemson is going to be a whole lot of fun playing that ballpark. Uh, really good baseball team as well. Um, looking forward to playing ECU. I played there before at, at Ole Miss, um, so that was a really, really fun ballpark to play at. Uh, but other than that, I don't really have anybody really, really circled. Um, I really try to, to take it one at a time and, and, and try to show up every day. As far as, uh, you know, Major League Baseball players, you know, past or present, is there any one in particular, maybe even a family member that, you know, that you look up to, uh, model your game around? Yeah. I think, I think as an outfielder, I think I'm crazy if I don't say Mike Trout. I mean, he's one of the best to ever do it, right? And uh, watching him, the way, the way that he approaches the game, the way that he attacks the game, I think it's really, really awesome. I mean, the abilities that he has is cherry on top, right? He's a freak athlete. He can do uh, anything that he really wants to do on the baseball field. So if I had to circle a guy and say, hey, you want to look like that guy? I'd probably Mike Trout. So, Tom, uh, well, what are what are your expectations for yourself this year and, and the team uh, moving forward? And uh, and what are some things that you have worked on uh, throughout the off season? You know, I feel like it starts with control and what we control. I mean, I want to bring energy every day. I want to keep sticking my routine, stay healthy. So I think what I the number one thing I provide for this team is leadership and energy and experience. So me personally, that's what I hope to bring everyone, and I just hope to lead us to win a lot of games and play well. And I feel like this team has a lot of talent. So if we can, if I can provide good leadership, hopefully we can take us where we want to go. And uh, as far as team. Uh goals go? What do you guys think you can hope to accomplish at this team? Yeah, I mean, our number one role is the our number one goal is to make a regional this year. We haven't made a regional since I've been here, so that's something as, as a program where just we've been upset that we haven't made one the last few years, and that we want to win the conference. And every single year since I've been here, we've been fighting to try and get a postseason berth that last weekend where, you know, if we win the conference, we're in automatically. So we're really fighting this year. We're hoping one of those two goals we can accomplish and get to play in the postseason. Yeah.
And as far as opponents go on, on, on paper, is there uh, one that you know, you're circling and, and you know, looking forward to, to that matchup in conference? Or yeah, conference? I think it's definitely East Carolina, where, I mean, that's an awesome place to play. That's the gold standard in our conference. And they, uh, they swept us at home last year, so we had a couple injuries in that series that maybe if those didn't happen, it would have gone differently. But, I mean, that's the team to beat in our conference, so we get to go to their place this year. We got to circle on our calendar. And as far as leadership goes on the team, what do you guys, what do you look up to? And, and obviously you are being a yeah, senior, right? Senior. Senior, you're a senior. So as a senior, uh, obviously, you know, you, you're probably one of the leaders of the team. And, and how do you look to uh, get the freshmen and, and the sophomores, you know, uh, more confidence as, as the season? Yeah, I mean, I think that's one thing that we have that a lot of teams don't have is we have multiple seniors and older guys that have played multiple years here. So, I mean, we have Ben McCabe, Nick Romano, Rudy Gomez, other seniors that are good players that can really teach guys a lot of things. I mean, I think a lot of us teach guys how to play, how to handle their business, how to work in and out every day, and how to just be themselves on the field, play well. I mean, you don't get here without a lot of talent. A lot of guys you know, recruit have the talent to be successful here. So it's kind of how do you bridge the gap? How do you get a guy to be his best self? How do you get him comfortable in school? Just help guys be the best version of themselves is all you do. So. Oh, and as far as, uh, you know, I asked Rudy the same question. Uh, is there a major league player that you try to, you know, uh, model your game after, you know, or just kind of yourself? Uh, um, that? I wouldn't say I had one in particular. I think, like, some of the guys, too, that I think have really, like, changed the game for me over and up are uh, Ronald Acuna, Marcus Stroman, some of those guys that are kind of turning the game over and showing, like, you know, what kind of fun you can have, kind of where the game's headed, and, you know, what when you bring energy, what the game can be like. I mean, it's a lot of kids come to the games, and, like, you bring energy, you have fun, it's going to get people coming back. So that's one thing I've tried to add in my game is have more fun, have more energy, and a little more flair, so people are excited to come to the games, and they remember coming to UCF baseball. We had uh, Stain and HBAC that went down with their injuries. Before they went down, I'd say, like, I wasn't getting a crazy amount of opportunities. So after they went down, like there are more opportunities for like the relief pitchers to pitch, and uh, that's sort of like when I started pitching a little bit more as I was coming back from ACL surgery. Oh, so you suffered ACL injury last year? Yes, uh, prior to uh, coming to the school, so prior, okay. right around April, and then so I missed all the fall, and then December was probably like, when I was fully recovered. I came back in January to play. Had a couple of like uh, you know residual knee soreness. Uh, from recovery and then that season came around. Uh, do you feel um, it bother you now or do you feel like 100% with your injury? Oh no, I feel 100%. Okay. I mean, I spent all summer staying here like working on my body, you know, trying to get my legs strong so that when I came back I didn't have any problems that Perfect. fade off big. Perfect. What are, what are some things that you worked on um, in the off season uh, as far as your pitching mechanics? And, and all well, that? I'd say what I worked on a lot the most was probably my changeup, changeup, because like uh, I just felt that that was a great pitch, but I didn't have too much control of it, too much confidence in it. So I spent most of my offseason working on my changeup and uh, honing in on the command of my fastball and my slider. And this season for you, what are your expectations um, for you and the team as a whole? Expectations. So I mean, I expect to be great. Like I've, I've put in a lot of work. I've sacrificed a lot of time for this. Um, you know, summers, winters, like, there's been many times where I didn't go home, I stayed, and I trained, you know, so, I expect to be great, you know, numbers-wise, like, I'm not really chasing any numbers-wise, I just want to put my team in the best position to win. Um, team-wise, I just hope that we can all, like, do our jobs and our follow our roles well, you know, from top to bottom, know what your role is, and don't try to get, don't try to do too much, don't try to do too little, like, just follow your role, that, that, that's what I think. Is there any uh, game or team you're looking forward to facing on the schedule? Um, honestly, I'm looking forward most to the tournament. The tournament, just because it's the playoff atmosphere and uh, man, that's that's as fiery as baseball can get. So I'm right. looking forward to that the most. Yeah. And uh, you know, I don't obviously I haven't seen you pitch, but is there like an MLB pitcher you try to model, or are you just you know kind of yourself, you know? Uh, fixing your mechanics or, you know, all that? Well, I mean, I don't try to be like anybody. I just try to be myself. Uh, there's a lot of people that I look up to. So, uh, I mean, big one is Pedro Martinez, 
Udana Ventura. Like, I, I watched a lot of videos of them throughout high school and uh, early college as well. Man, I just love to see them compete.